Google Calendar is still Android's best tablet app. As I said in 2022, Google Calendar is my favorite first-party app for Android tablets and foldables. Following an update detail that I owe 2024, it retains that top spot for me. 9to5 Google has a rebooted newsletter that highlights the biggest Google stories with added commentary and other tidbits. When viewing the schedule, day, or week view in Google Calendar, you'll notice a drag handle at the left edge of your screen. If you hold and swipe right, it will show a monthly calendar. It's narrow by default, but you can expand that view to take up most of the screen. While this is happening, you see more and more of the whimsical background illustration. This adjustability also applies to viewing event details. This ability to easily assign more screen space for a specific layout or even quickly switch to a single layout temporarily is called pane expansion. Being able to quickly see the full month without leaving the day a week view is quite handy when planning. In the past, I might have needed to pull up a second device if I didn't want to lose my place in the tablet app, or move to desktop where there is a persistent month widget on calendar.google.com. It makes the Google Calendar UI feel unique, with your width preference for that left-hand pane preserved through different screens in a way that mobile apps usually aren't. Dynamic color would be the other major example. The Material 3 guidelines show pane expansion in an email client. It would be a great update for Gamel with a full screen experience today only possible by rotating from landscape to portrait orientation. More broadly, all dual column apps will hopefully adopt pane expansion going forward. This feature will be supported by activity embedding in Android 15 and is also planned to be supported by the Material 3 adaptive library. Developer guidance is available here.